Welcome to my best seven. If you want to get better at anything, you're in the right spot because we're all about elite performance. If you want to get better at golf, yeah, it's not, it's, this, is a, this is a reasonable video to watch. If you're Dalen, this is the video to watch. This is episode one of Golf with Dalen. I'm Mark. I'm a professor. I run my best seven. This is my front yard. There's no, we're not going to hit a golf ball, so there's no need for to be at golf. I want to explain in this episode, and it's in the About tab, so this is YouTube, it's somewhere up there, what My Best Seven's about, how we're going to apply it to Dalen and her golf, her transition from cheerleading champion to, to, to adult golfer, golf champion Dalen. And so My Best Seven has seven traits, seven characteristics, seven prereqs, whatever you want to call them, that apply to all elite performers, third grade teachers, who knows, Bill Gates, Tony Robbins, Michael Jordan. It's all the same, right? It's just how they, how they fit in with a couple of them differ a little bit because of the characteristics of the actual activity. One, body, body type, body size. Seven, things around the actual sport. The middle section's all the sports psych stuff, and I'm in sports psychology, so that, that all makes sense. And so I'm a professor. If I haven't said that, it's all, it's all I am. I've always been a professor. Um, sports psychology, sports sciences, my whole life. And so, one, if Dalen said to me, Mark, I want to be uh, the world's number one, Rolex world's number one in women's golf, I would, we know each other really well. So we kind of give each other these looks when some of us says something that's unrealistic. And I would say, well, you know, 95% of those weeks, those women have been at least 5'5 five five in height. And you're, you're always be a cheerleader, and you, they're not, you're not 5'5", five five, right? And so she doesn't want to do that, so it's no big deal, right? You go to the other end, things that surround the sport of choice. Golf is explosive. Golf requires some strength. Golf requires some flexibility. She's got all that. Easy peasy. Then we have golf skill. When I clip in the video of her golf, her swing, she's a new golfer, it's pretty good. It, it, it's, a, it's a really good start. Then again, that middle section is all the sports psych type of mystical mystical things. One, it, Some aren't mystical, ability to learn. She can learn, she's a national champion. She learned routines, she jumped high and she didn't make any mistakes, she can learn. Great attitude to training, bingo, she's got it. And then we've got this mix of things of of personality, of coping, of motivations, and use of psychological skills. Again, all those within that activity itself, right? So she's got all of those. Great attitude. She's got uh, she uses psychological skills. She's always used them. She probably used them more than her peers at the same age, right, to get to the top. Uh, she's got emotional control under stress. She's got all the things that are required. Now, taking all that to golf, it's different because a, a national championship routine, I think if I if we go watch it, it's you know, like two minutes and 38 seconds. Golf is multiple, many, one second, two second events across whatever, four hours, three hours, how long you want to golf for. And so that part is, that transition is always more difficult, right, from cheerleading to golf. So here we go. Here's the golf lesson, Dalen. Here we go. You will say, oh, I know that because yeah, I know you, Mark, and I should have known to do that because we've done it before, or at least one time. We've, we've had one face-to-face -face golf lesson. Right. You start each video in a high fly position, and you know that's a great position. No question about it. You know how much I love Ross. You know how much I love my shoes. Brand new for you. You're going to say, Mark's shiny shoes. That's it. I fly now to mark shiny shoes. Take a step both ways, flare your feet a little bit. You got it. Next one, you're really going to go, oh, Mark, you've told me that before or once before. Here, I can't tell in the video, it doesn't seem that you make it. 
you've got the flexibility, the strength, the willpower, everything in you to go load. I see the load. I see the load in behind equal to you're flexible enough. You can go to here. I, I can go to here, and I'm you know you know me. I'm old, right? Here, and you load, and you're gonna go. Ah, I don't use that muscle typing mark. Nope, nope. You, you never do. No, doesn't happen. You do in golf. Bingo. Let's build. Mark shiny shoes. Load. Oh. Right? Point three, and then we'll be done. This part is really good. You start it, it looks really good. This part is excellent. This part is tremendous because you're, it's, it's all go. All go. This part is the problem, right? So. Ah. Now it's really going to be a double ah, Dalen. Make the L. Make the L. And put your hand here. In your videos, you kind of stop and you kind of scrunch just a little bit. But then somehow, because you're not somehow, you're an athlete, you get there. But right? you 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 get there. And then you get there and you get there. Right? Well let anybody tell you not to run through it. Just crush the thing. Why? Because you because you're you're a, you're a high flying cheerleader, you're, you're a small person. Right? Crush it. Right? Here we go. Last time. Lesson one. And then Dalen's going to take our own video, send it back, and then we'll have episode two. It's gonna be awesome. Mark shiny shoes. Load. Turn. Feel it. Straight. L. Hand and done. Episode two is right around the, the corner, Dale, and see ya.